Hey YouTube fans, DB Technologies fans, Trinity Pro Sound fans. Here we got another video coming at you now. This week we are bringing you an expanded view of the new DB Technologies T8 line array. Um, we have done a previous video on this, just a, uh, a short um, recap of the features of this and uh, this video we are going to do a complete take it apart and show you the speakers, the drivers, the internal workings, and how this fantastic T8 cabinet is constructed. Um, first, we want to go ahead and talk about what is um, new and upgraded on the T8 box over the T4. And uh, the first off is the amplifier uh, and assembly is now 750 watts uh, of power that is divided up amongst the 8-inch driver the upgraded mid-range driver, and then the uh, high-frequency drivers. Uh, one of the unique, unique things about this box is that they have been able to coax a little bit more low end out of it, and uh, that is due to some of the uh, internal structuring that they have done, uh, same 8-inch woofer. They have upgraded the uh, mid-range driver in this box with the driver out of the T12. So you've got a, a larger voice coil, more power handling, and then the same one inch drivers that are common to the T4, now the T8 and the T12. Uh, one of the things with the, uh, the amplification panel and that DSP, they now have included our DNet um, on the back of the box and we'll show you that. And then also with the rigging hardware, they've gone to uh, one degree in increments as far as the adjustability concer is concerned as far as arraying the, um, the arrays and the adjustability between the boxes. So that's all brand new. So anyway, um, stay tuned. We are going to get into this, open this guy up, and then we'll also turn it around and get into the, uh, the workings in the rear of it, the amplifier and DSP modules um, on this brand new DB Technologies T8 line array. Stand by. Okay, so we've gone ahead and opened up the front here. Now you can see the drivers in the front assembly of the, uh, the T8. Um, again, uh, with the, uh, all of the DB Technologies products, um, they've got a nice um, heavy grill on it, but all of them do have the um, inner foam to kind of just protect it and give the boxes that um, professional look so you don't see the, um, the speakers on the inside. One of the things that you'll see, just this, the standard um, RCF 8-inch driver, you're looking down the, the center here of the 1-inch uh, drivers, and then this is the 6.5-inch driver that is the upgraded driver from the T12s, and they've done a little bit with uh, some phasing plugs on this thing to bring some of the phase and alignment in um, as far as the sound of the box itself. Um, same size uh, as the T4 box, same rigging on it. Um, you can see that the rigging and everything is the same as far as um, the front and back rigging and the pinning and everything that they have included on these boxes. And then as we flip it around to the back, the T8s do have a rain shield, the standard power con connections um, on the back of the box your line in and out, and then your RD net um, there as well. And then you've also got some of the um, adjustability curves that are the presets on the box as well. So um, makes a nice little package and this kind of covers your cables up and acts as a rain shield. So there is the outside of it. And what we're gonna do now is go ahead and start pulling this guy apart and get into the inner workings of the DB Technologies T8 line array. Okay, we've spent a few minutes and have taken apart the, uh, the T8 speaker. We have pulled out the eight inch driver. And as you can see here, it is the standard um, RCF eight inch driver, it has a cast basket to it, uh, neodymium magnet structure on it, so it's fairly light. Um, Standard, you know, woofer paper surround on the thing. Um, nothing special about it except for the sound. So, that is the um, the eight inch driver out of the uh, out of the T8. Now, as you can see, the inner workings. There is a um, a brace assembly in there, which 
with that and the, uh, the baffling that they've done is what allows them to coax uh, some lower frequency and uh, some additional power handling um, out of this particular, particular box. Um, what we are going to do now is just kind of pull this assembly out for you as much as we can here and um, get this flipped up so you can kind of see what, um, what is on this. I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these leads off so that we can get this um, laid down. So now you can see that we've got the um, 8 ohm uh, one inch drivers here that are for the high frequency section. We do have the enclosed back uh, six and a half inch mid frequency driver um, that is on the assembly. And then that is all uh, assembled onto a uh, injection molded plastic plate. And what we're going to go ahead and do is pull some of this off and allow you to see the further inner workings um, of what they've done inside this, um, this T8 cabinet. So um, let me get this pulled apart and we'll show you some more video. Stay tuned. One of the things I did want to share, which we have not done in any of our um, prior videos on the T4s or the T12s, but we will do with the T8s, is we've gone ahead and taken apart the mid-frequency driver assembly with the enclosed back on it but I just wanted to show you what this driver um, looks like. So um, we'll get her down here on camera two, and there is the driver itself, um, just a stamped framed um, driver. Um, looks like it is a smaller um, ceramic magnet on it. Uh, it is a four ohm driver, so they are driving it four ohm to be able to get a little bit more power to it. Um, just standard um, cone surround on it. But that is the mid-frequency driver um, that is in here in the, uh, the T8 box and also in the T12s. Um, the T4 boxes have one that is similar, just a little bit smaller voice coil on it. So anyway, I um, wanted to share that and we're just about there with the uh, disassembly and opening up this cabinet so you can see the, uh, the new baffling that's inside. So we will be right back. So now we've got the T8 fully opened, and as you can see in here, we have this um, aluminum um, support structure, and my best guess on it without being the design engineer is that helps with the acoustics inside the box as well as strengthening the box so that it doesn't resonate as much, and that's how they've been able to develop and get some additional low frequency um, out of this particular um, plastic cabinet. But Everything in there, the wires pass through to the amplifier, as you can see. There is a little bit of um, some um, padding material, dampening material in the back of the box. Um, with just the amp in it and the speakers out, this thing weighs, I don't know, probably eight pounds. So um, that's how they get the light um, line array, though, in the T4s and the T8s um, with the, uh, the weight of the plastic. And then also with the, uh, the DigiPro amps that they're using are um, very robust but very, very light. So what we're gonna do now is flip this thing around and pull the amp module off and show you that. And we'll show you the complete um, T8 uh, fully disassembled. So we'll be right back, stay tuned. Okay, well, we did it. So if we flip this guy around and flip this up, amplifier module goes right in there. Everything is on a Molex type connector that just unplugs uh, and that takes care of uh, the audio feeds to uh, the three-way speakers that are out front of this amplifier. So rain shield can stay on. Everything's good. This is the amplifier module and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get this onto the closer camera here and show you what this consists of, this is a uh, cast heat sink assembly that everything is assembled onto. Um, XLR inputs here, and then we have our DNet here, and then uh, USB for programming. We have a gain control down here, and then also some of the presets here um, for the DSP, depending on the number of boxes that you are going to um, put in a hang of T12s or T8s or T8s and T4s. Um, on this side, we have the power con in and out connections as well as a, uh, a rated fuse um, in there for the, uh, the main 
power transformer and amplifier. This does have a switch mode power supply. I'm going to turn this around now and show you the back side of it. Um, everything is caged in. Power supply section over here on this side. DSP section over here on this side. And then everything as far as amplification, um, most of it is all um, surface mount technology um, under this um, shield. We're going to try to take the shield off and uh, show you what the components are on the back of it so you can get a little bit better understanding of what the uh, Digipro amps are all about. So uh, we'll be right back on this um, cannibalization of a T8. Stand by. Okay, we did it. So here we have it. And we'll go ahead and bring this down into the camera. But now you're looking at the uh, inner workings of a, um, a Digipro series amplifier. And you're going to start out at this side with the, uh, the power supply and section. There is some processing here. And then as we get into it, um, and you can't see it, but through here, all of the, um, the uh, power semiconductors for the amplifier are all mounted to this heat sink on the other side to be able to dissipate the heat. Um, when we first started uh, looking at speakers and line arrays for our own production work, um, this amplifier and some of the um, ingenious things that DB Technologies has done and the sound quality is what really kind of sold us um, on, the, uh, on the T4s when we bought in years ago. And uh, we have never looked back in doing so on that purchase. We've had more compliments uh, at events that we have done with the sound quality of the uh, the T4s and the T8s and with all of the uh, monitors that we have that are all DB Technologies with the Digipro series amps. Um, absolutely fantastic. So this is here one of the reasons why these speakers do sound so good is the quality of their amplifiers and components um, that go into each of these cabinets. You know, and you ask yourselves, it's like, well, why a plastic box? And it's like, well, why not? You know, a lot of us are not in the category of being able to spend four or five thousand dollars on a line array box to get the sound quality that we're looking for. And what DB Technologies has done with the uh, inception of these um, injection molded plastic boxes is has put the line array technology down into something that is reasonably priced, but yet gives just fantastic performance uh, and sound quality. So, um, you know, this is a really a, um, I, I don't know how to explain it other than, you know, it's a design sensation, I think, um, when it comes to line arrays. You look at other competing lines and they don't have what DB Technologies has been able to offer in their, uh, their line arrays with the, uh, the T4, the T8, and the T12. So, um, there you have it. That was my soapbox for YouTube. Um, as far as DB Technologies goes. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this back together and play a little music through it to make sure we got it all back together right. So um, thank you for watching. Stand by. We'll have this back together shortly. Thanks. Okay, here we are all back together and uh, we've got a little bit of noise coming out of the, um, the T8 here just to make sure that everything's back together good. Checked everything out. Checked all the connections and the drivers. So anyway, that is our overview of the DB Technologies T8 line array. And if you have any questions, you can uh, get a hold of us through the messaging and email here on YouTube or check us out on the web at trinityprosound.com. Also check us out on our Facebook page. We've got a lot of stuff going on there as well. But um, we also have a a uh, way that you can email us right off of our web page and you can see videos of some events we've done in the past as well as pictures and different things that um, we are doing. We can also see our complete line card of the different lines of audio equipment that we do carry and sell throughout the United States. So if you need any quotes on anything, whether it be good old DB Technology speakers here, um, or RCF speakers, or anything within the pro audio line, microphones, cables, cases, whatever the case may be, give us a call. We can make you an absolutely killer deal. Well, there you have it. Another DB Technologies fine product, the T8 line array. Again, like I said, if you have any questions, drop us a line. Thanks for stopping by. Again, Trinity Productions, trinityprosound.com. Have a great day and make some noise.